so in the given problem he is asking the matching so first of all you should know the definitions of unitary hermitian and skew hermitian matrix if you know the definitions then you can match it very easily so first unitary matrix so unitary matrix means when i am having a matrix a so a into a conjugate whole transpose is equal to i so if a matrix satisfies this equation then i can say that a is a unitary matrix for example i'll take here 1 by 2 into i root 3 root 3 i so i just want to know i'll take this as a and then i'll find out whether this matrix a satisfies the above equation or not so first i'll find out a conjugate so this is equal to 1 by 2 conjugate is nothing but all the i signs will reverse so this is minus i root 3 root 3 minus i what about a conjugate transpose you just transpose that means you just change interchange the rows and columns this is minus i root 3 root 3 minus i you will get the same now a into a transpose whole sorry a conjugate whole transpose this is equal to so i'll take 1 by 4 out because in both the equations 1 by 2 1 by 2 is there then a is i root 3 root 3 i and minus i root 3 root 3 minus i this is equal to 1 by 4 so here this is minus i square that is 1 plus root 3 into root 3 is 3 and here i into root 3 root 3 i minus root 3 here minus root 3 i plus root 3 i and here root 3 into root 3 is 3 minus sorry plus into minus i square that is minus so this is equal to 1 by 4 4 0 0 4 so this is nothing but 1 0 0 so which is nothing but i so this equation satisfies this matrix satisfies the above equation so whenever you have a a conjugate whole transpose is equal to i means then i can say that the matrix a is a unitary matrix so from the given matching so what i can say r is this r is matching to unitary matrix and similarly the definition of hermitian and skew hermitian so the definition of hermitian matrix is when you have a matrix a if you conjugate it and transport if you get the same matrix then i can say that it is a hermitian matrix for example if you got its value equal to minus a then i can say that it is a skew hermitian matrix now if you see p the matrix p if you do the same thing what i have done for unitary matrix so you just consider a equal to the given p and then you just conjugate it and then after that you just transpose you will get the matrix 
conjugate whole transpose equal to the given matrix so that means you will get p equal, p will satisfy the hermitian matrix and q will satisfy the skew hermitian matrix so that means r is 2 so where r is having 2 so sorry r equal to 1 so r equal to 1 and p is 2 and q is 3 so from the given options the answer is b